But anyway, let's do a quick review of the Daniel Defense DDM4V7LW. This is a AR-15 chambered in 556 uh, 16 inch. And let's go over it. Only thing that is pretty much stock that I've never replaced or changed or fixed or had to fix is the barrel, the gas block and the gas tube, the BCG, the bolt carrier group, which is has the firing pin and uh, the uh, what is that called? The bolt face, bolt head for this uh, Daniel Defense. So I never changed those out or had to fix them, fix them, or those parts components never broke on me. And this gun has about twelve thousand plus rounds through it. Uh, oh, and I never changed the trigger. It's a standard uh, mil spec trigger from Daniel Defense. Came with the lower. I never changed it out. Never changed the uh, mag button, mag release, and the bolt catch, bolt lock, bolt release. I only added this uh, bad lever to it for better, better uh, manipulation. I guess that's what it's called. Uh, I just like the bad levers. I have one on every single AR that I own and a SCAR but not by Magpul it's made by Parker Mountain Machine uh, it's still a bad lever battery assist device lever and let's go from the the tip the front end the A2 flash hider I swapped it out and put the VG6 gamma uh, onto this barrel and I love VG6 brakes compensators I love them I have like four of them I got two of them on AR-15s and then the 300 blackout one uh, which is a 30 cal one uh, I have a Epsilon but it's still VG6 uh, and then the other one is on a 762 by 39 uh, the Epsilon. These are the uh, Gamma. Uh, yep, Gamma 5.56, VG6. And I love it. Um, the hand guard, hand rail is by Centurion Arms. They don't make this rail anymore. This is the uh, CMR rail. They discontinued it. But I like this rail for the uh, lightweight flexibility and the... Uh, the what is the versatility you could put these their own um hand covers i have this in black i also have the fde one because this gun used to be black and fde mixed but uh i got these black rail covers on them um i like the cutie points they're on both sides in, in the middle right here and in the very front end and those do come in handy um, and then I have these pins that hold the trigger pins uh, so they won't back out or move or anything which I never swapped out this trigger I kept it stock because I just like it I don't know the pull weight the pounds or whatever of the pull I would have to measure that like with a uh, measuring device right um, and the safety selector is a Ambi Strike Industries safety selector. Um, it was it's plastic, so Harley. Harley's right here. It's my dog, my GSP. Um, where was I? Oh, so she's walking. <laughs> she's walking around.
had to let Harley out uh, before she stopped making noises. But uh, where was that? Forward assist is just stock Daniel defense. I didn't change that out. I really don't use it. Never had to. Um, and the charging handle, which is a BCM Bravo Company Manufacturing. This is the Gunfighter uh, Mod 3 GFH. And it's not an ambi, it's just a single side, left side. And uh, it works. I mean, I don't need to change that out. My other AR 15s that have uh, Radian, the Raptors uh, SDs, but I just kept this one like how it is. I don't need to change it. It works good. Barrel nut, castle nut, or whatever. Castle nut, uh, regular back plate, standard buffer tube from Daniel Defense, standard buffer weight and buffer spring. The H buffer uh, came with the gun. Uh, this came with the gun, the Daniel Defense buttstock, um, and the pistol grip with the. Uh, what is this trigger guard? This is all one piece. The trigger guard with the Daniel Defense pistol grip. So uh, I put it back on the rifle because these two pieces, the pistol grip I had was the FDE BCM pistol grip and then uh, Otor FDE uh, buttstock. They don't make those no more. I don't know where uh, my buttstock is. Um, but that was FTE. I swapped everything out to black. And then uh, I like it. So the optic, oh man, the optic, I shot so many optics from pistol red dots, right? I put my uh, RMR with a mount, uh, tried it out, and went to a hollow sun uh, red dot holographic or whatever they call them uh, went with the MRO with the three times magnifier that added a lot of weight to it so I said nope I went with a uh, Trigicon scope I forgot what AccuPoint Accu something I didn't like it because uh, it, it was heavy and made the gun just heavy right this is a LW is a lightweight so I wanted a have range and also keep it lightweight right with the pistol red dots i couldn't get range with this like out to 100 yards with a red dot but with a four times acog trigicon acss aurora this is the green um chevron on a quick detach bow bro engineering mount uh, i swapped it out because you know, you just press this button and then do a quick release and it comes off. Simple, nice and easy. So I went with the ACOG and I like it. I mean, this is a rifle for range and also, you know, mid range to long range. Close quarters, I mean, I'm not going to be really relying on this. I'm just going to, you know, point and shoot but the ACOGs everybody know the eye relief sucks so you have to put you have to put the uh, optic like right here because if you go forward then you have to put your face forward but right here is just a perfect spot I don't have to uh, collapse or uh, extend extend right See, that eye relief is horrible. I don't have to extend, so I could just grab the rifle up and aim. Right, you're supposed to uh, keep your both eyes open while looking down into the optic, just for people that don't know. But uh, anyway, practice with your rifle, get familiar with the components, and train with it. Um, that's all. For this review um 
If y'all got any questions, just post them, ask me. I mean, I'm uh, I'm always, you know, wanting to talk. And, oh, the Daniel Defense 32 round mag that it comes with. I mean, I have other mags, P mags, hex mags, uh, what, what, Lancer mags, uh, GI mags, you know, all 556, 223 mags. This is a proprietary Daniel Defense magazine, 32 round. And, I mean, it's beautiful. But any mag for 556 is beautiful. Um, train with it, get familiar with the components and just run your gun.